Sean Quinn now here at the First Alert Weather Center with our full forecast. Sean, anyone here on vacation who doesn't really know the patterns, they're like, yeah, what's what? Where's the sunshine? Right. It's not not here. Yeah, not exactly Chamber of Commerce, uh, the crystal clear blue skies. But we, you know, we'll go ahead and take it. it. Means the weather's fairly quiet out there. A lot of cloud cover. Uh, expected to really thicken up over the next couple of hours. And again, as I mentioned at the top of the show, could see a little bit of drizzle. Uh, as you mentioned, if you are vacationing, you're definitely saying, "Hey, where's all that warm California sunshine?" Uh, it's there. It's just this time of year we get the marine layer. You get um, uh, the pattern generally drives an onshore flow, and then you get the um, the warmth inland, believe it or not, and you get little what we call heat lows, and that helps too as the air rises in the low pressure systems or the low pressure from the warmth. It helps to suck in more of the ocean air, so it sort of becomes sort of a uh, self-sustaining little uh, machine, and that's why the beaches can stay so foggy, and your inland areas can do a little bit better. But right now we're actually not even seeing much in the way of real clarity inland, and that's because everybody's just under a really strong uh, onshore flow, and even an area of low pressure, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, steady winds, uh, real quiet out there. We know our fire season is going to be rough this year, no matter how you look at it, uh, the threat anyways. So having all this moisture at the lower atmosphere and very light winds onshore in most directions is really good news. So a big area of low pressure is sitting over the west coast. For the most part, though, it's very moisture starved. Um, rain is falling, but well to our north. Up in the Pacific Northwest, we need it just about everywhere, all the way up into uh, Canada. So that's good news. Now, as we head into Sunday, we'll hold on to that. Uh, won't see a whole lot of changes, and that means we could see some drizzle in the overnight hours. I know uh, Santa Maria, uh, Santa Maria, and I think also um, San Luis Obispo picked up some very small amounts of light sprinkles uh, early this morning. So we might actually do that again. So that's good news there. And we'll go ahead and look at our future rainfall right here and. And I'm going to get out of the way because we've got the big decimal issue here, which means if I step in the way, I'll be standing all over those one hundredths of an inch of possible rain. And uh, interesting to see Gaviota getting something, but not Goleta right now and Santa Barbara over the next couple of days. This could very well change. Of course, the, uh, any precipitation is hard for our computers to play with and especially drizzle, which could be spotty here and there. So we'll see how it develops, but at least we are getting a threat. And look at the marina. This is interesting. Of way, way inland, going into some of the interior valleys uh, in the LA area, in fact, almost getting into the high desert, which shows you that you have about as deep a marine layer as you can get. Uh, not a lot of clearing. In fact, we'll probably get the clearing in some areas along out in the ocean. You get a little bit of dry air that comes in, but there's so much moisture piled up inland, you get the phenomenon known as reverse clearing. So uh, probably going to stay cloudy throughout much of the day tomorrow. Looks like Monday morning we get that cloud cover again, and and then it kind of backs off a little bit better. So we'll see those day to day changes, those subtle little swings where we get um, one day maybe a little bit better than the other. But either way, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of cloud cover. And wind will continue to stay light, although it looks like the Sierra and the Tehachapi could see some strong winds. And as far as temperatures on Sunday, wow, look at that brisk at best and a little bit cool and possibly even damp. Monday, let's see if we can get some improvement here. And it looks like we do a little bit uh, here and there. So we'll go ahead and look at your city in particular. We'll go one by one. Clearing and drizzle possible. I mean, slow clearing for the south coast. And look at that, a lot of 60s, boy, on near the beaches. And even some high 50s are possible. And then inland areas like Cuyama and up into the southern Salinas Valley, we're looking at maybe high 60s to low 70s at best. So that is definitely a cool day. Below normal. We do expect the fog this time of year as you look at Ventura County. Um, but we're actually getting it really and then some. So that means we're a little bit below normal. Surf is still out there. We got some southern hemisphere swells uh, working their way through the region and as well some wind swell on the map. And a quick look at our forecast maps. Look at that. Wow. We don't see a lot of improvement until about the second half of the work week and then into next weekend. So expect possibly a little bit of drizzle over the next couple of days and maybe some improvement as we head through the work week. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back.